today I made space on my macros for mofongo, which is fried plantains mashed with olive oil and garlic and chicharrones, which is a pork skin. So I'm gonna weigh my plantain to see how much it weighs. We are going to peel one more, uh, maybe two more plantains because this kind of came out really small. I was really disappointed. This one is a little tiny bit yellow. So that's why it's coming out so easily. See, I don't even have to clean that one. Uh, but for mofongo, you don't want plantains that are a, even a tiny bit yellow. This is gonna be a little bit disappointing. But I'm gonna give this one to Antoine because Antoine is not as picky as I am with his mofongo. You know, this is not his native food, so he's gonna be happy with whatever I give him. <laughs> That's pretty easy. I just kind of get into the habit of cleaning it afterwards. So, uh, okay, let's put the lobster over here. It's a cutting board. Uh, you fry it with avocado oil it's a type of oil that has a very high smoke point so it doesn't clog your veins and give you cardiovascular disease while the oil is heating up i want to tell you about how to eat the mofongo the best way to eat it is with something saucy so you make a good caldo de pollo like a good bone broth uh, like a soup like a chicken soup uh, you could also make shrimp or lobster with a good sauce and so that is what I'm gonna make today I'm gonna make lobster I found some really good ones at Costco today so and I the previous day I had seen a video about a mofongo that somebody made so I started craving it so that's what I'm making today so let's prepare the lobster I am not a chef, as you can tell, but I can find my way around the kitchen and make some really yummy stuff. So I just take off the cascaron, the shell. Sometimes I cannot find the words in English that I'm looking for, so I just say it however it comes out, English or Spanish. So bear with me. See, that's not so hard. Look how beautiful that is. One per person. So let's see how much macros I might add. I mean, how many ounces of lobster do I have that will? Wow, exactly three ounces of lobster. That's okay, this is my frying pan. That's why it's so dirty. But you see that crispiness that you see happening? That frying action, that is what you want to see when you throw your plantains in there. I never have my fingers touch the oil, so watch out. Never. I'm just experienced and I do it quickly. 
Now, while the plantains fry, we are going to cut our lobster. Kind of slice it however you want. I like small pieces, so we're gonna do that. I just cut it in two lengthwise and then go across a couple of times. That's all. So make sure you check on your plantains. Make sure they're not burning. I lost one. So because of coronavirus, who knows what's on our feet. Um, I'm going to throw it away, but normally I would apply the five second rule to that. That's looking good. Here we're going to cook our lobster and what we're going to do is we're going to turn that on. About medium heat. We're going to add some olive oil. To that olive oil that we have uh, heating up for the lobster, we're gonna add some sofrito. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, our plantains are done. So I took a pause from the lobster prep. And we are going to take out these plantains, lower the heat before they burn. The next step is to mash this in a pilon. A pilon is like a mortar and pestle, but it's made out of wood. And it's supposed to be heavy. Don't buy a cheap crap in Amazon. Okay. So there they are. They're going to, this is a clean cloth, and I kind of just press it to soak some of the oil into the cloth so that I don't eat it, okay? And that's it, the next step is to mash them with olive oil and garlic. So the thing I was talking about earlier for the sofrito is culantro, this is it, it looks like a wider cilantro. And it smells just like cilantro, it's really good. Maybe a little different, but not much different. Uh, in Puerto Rico, they call it recao, R-E-C-A-O, recao. <laughs> and uh, it's really good. So the recipe for the sofrito is about three strands of culantro, half a bunch of cilantro, a full head of garlic, a whole red onion, and one whole bell pepper, green bell pepper. While we uh, mash our plantains for the mofongo, we are going to mix two tablespoons of our sofrito into the oil for the lobster. And we're gonna stir our lobster, like kind of stir fry with the sofrito in there. And then we're gonna add a little bit of homemade uh, chicken broth. Estamos en acción, aquí estamos activos haciendo mofongo con uh, langosta. We are active here making mofongo with langosta. This is my homemade uh, bone broth. So delicious. So we added our lobster with three tablespoons actually I ended up putting of that sofrito because it smelled too good and it just seemed like it needed more. So yeah, three tablespoons and I'm going to add one more. <laughs> and what else? My chicken broth and that's it until it gets pink and that's it, it's done. I'm going to add a little bit of ghee 
ghee is clarified butter. I'm also adding one tablespoon of organic tomato paste that will give it some color. And I'm actually gonna add some um, achiote, achiote. I don't know how to say that. I'm mashing some achiote here. This is achiote. And you're just gonna add a little bit of color to that sauce with the lobster. And, uh, maybe some flavor, but not much. Achiote is really mostly for. Uh, this is my ghee, awesome stuff, clarified butter, really healthy and delicious. There is a lobster sauce for mofongo. We also add in some salt and pepper for the lobster sauce. And now we match some garlic in the pilong for each mofongo plate. Okay, so for each mofongo plate we do, these are really large, these are really large cloves of garlic. So I'm just gonna put one, because they're really, really big, look at that. But otherwise I'll put two, two cloves of regular garlic. This is so big that it's like two in one, look at that. It's time to introduce you to the pilong. Pilong, P-I-L-O-N. And so it's this wooden thing, it's very heavy. This one is about, I don't know, two or three pounds. And this handle is very heavy, the pestle. And so we're gonna put our garlic in there. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Add some oil, olive oil. I don't know, about a tablespoon. And then you start mashing the plantains like three at a time so that you can actually mash them. Throw three more, maybe two more, because this pilong is very, very uh, narrow. So. small pieces so I just threw in three I think we fried three plantains so one and a half plantains each per person one and a half because the plantains were kind of small but if you have a really big plantain uh, You can uh, you can just have one per person. Okay. And so that you're supposed to match those chicharrones, which is pork skin, with the mofongo. So we're gonna do that now because I actually forgot. So we threw in some of those chicharrones, so delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Mash it there with the mofongo. There goes your mofongo. I'll put it in a cup, a nice cup that has a good shape because we're going to press it down to make a nice shape and then serve it on the plate. Like so. Nice tea. Y ahora, now, we serve it. Go aquí abajo.
There. There you have it. You got your mofongo. And now we're going to add the sauce. This smells so good. This is a lobster sauce. I'm going to add some lobster. I'm going to try to be fair. <laughs> Antoine! It's ready. A lot of sauce. This is guilt-free sauce. So delicious and so healthy. The moment of the truth. The chef gets to taste it. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Rico, Rico.